Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. I bring you guys a brand new video today showing you guys how to shiny hunt in Pokemon Sun and Moon using the SOS method in pretty much the most effective, efficient way possible without having to worry about breaking your chains or the Pokemon fainting itself or switching the Pokemon every however many turns because they run out of attacks, whatever it may be. This makes SOS hunting so much more enjoyable, so much easier, and allows you to multitask much, much better. Now, of course, I want to give shout outs to Ryan Yags, whose channel's in the description. And anyone else who may have kind of come up with this method, uh, it's not anything super duper mind blowing, but it is incredibly helpful. And once you get the Pokemon to use for this, as you can see on the screen next to me, it becomes so much easier. So the core behind this is going to be Executor or Trevenant. One of the two. I happen to have an Alolan Executor, but I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to do to get Trevenant, which I think is actually a little bit easier than Executor is, but nevertheless. So kind of the key here is that both these Pokemon, Trevenant and Executor, have the hidden ability Harvest. Now Harvest makes it so 50% of the time if you consume your berry you'll actually get your berry back so what's gonna happen here is you're gonna use the move bestow in the course case of executor or the move trick for Trevenant and you're going to basically give your Lepa berry that you're holding to the wild Pokemon and then you're going to skill swap it your harvest ability right when you're SOSing which I'll demonstrate here in a second but you're gonna give them your ability harvest you're gonna also give them your berry and then what's gonna happen is as soon as they run out of attacks on any of their moves the Lepa berry which restores 10 PP is going to activate that's gonna replenish their PP and then there's a 50% chance every turn that that berry comes back and they'll get to use it and I can tell you I've done this a handful of times hundreds and hundreds of chains never had any issues the Pokemon ever faints itself so all you have to do is get into a battle in SOS, make that one Pokemon on the right hand side, the automated Pokemon with Harvest and uh, the Lepiberry, and it'll basically infinitely sit there and recycle that Lepiberry so you only have to worry about fainting the Pokemon on the left side, making the SOS method much easier. So let's cut to a quick example. All right, guys, so here I am in a random battle with the Caterpie, and we're going to begin the SOS method here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and click Skill Swap. So we're going to give this Caterpie our ability Harvest. And again, we take whatever ability it has. Doesn't really matter. Then what we're going to do is going to use the move Bestow or Trick, if you have Trevenant, and that is going to give the berry to the Caterpie. Now, keep in mind that with Executor, Bestow only works if the wild Pokemon does not hold an item. So if the wild Pokemon happens to be holding an item already, you might have to encounter or something different and then give it to it so now we have a caterpie in front of us that has the the move uh or i'm sorry the ability harvest and also has a lepa berry on it what i'll do now is i'm going to switch into my full swipe pokemon unfortunately executor nor trevenant do get full swipe but what i will do is i'm going to full swipe this caterpie down and then i can infinitely chain the caterpie as i faint the pokemon on the side of it making it incredibly efficient very very easy to shiny hunt uh and it just takes so much of the stress off i can tell you as someone who does a lot of shiny hunting obviously I always have to kind of keep a mental tab of how many encounters have I done? When am I going to switch the Pokemon? I don't want to fail it. I've had a number of different times where the Pokemon's fainted itself because I wasn't prepared or I didn't switch it fast enough or whatever it is. But this takes that whole that whole worry out of the equation. You don't have to count. You can pretty much go on autopilot and not even worry about it. And it makes it so it's super easy to chain long term. You can close your DS, come back to it later. You do like 20 encounters and then say, hey, I'm going to come back to it tomorrow. No big deal. But you can see here, I can just continuously faint the Pokemon on the left side and we have absolutely no problems nothing to worry about and this Caterpie will sit here and continue to restore its attacks with that left berry every time it runs out and then once that left berry is consumed that harvest ability is going to activate and you'll be good to go so you may be saying hey drive how do I get this amazing executor and this amazing Trevenant well I'm going to show you guys but we do have to go a little bit of a blast of the past we're going to jump into Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire all right guys here I am in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire of course will work as well and this is probably the the easiest location to get a hidden ability execute or trevenant and you do need it to have the hidden ability of course in this case so I would recommend going for Phantump if you're someone who plays Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire otherwise if you have X and Y you can pretty pretty easily get execute uh, let's kind of run through that really quick execute hidden ability the way you've got to find it is you've got to go to route 12 or Azure Bay those are the two places you can find it and uh, you can find them in hordes so it's a little tricky to find them in hordes so I would actually recommend doing the trevenant uh, 
Uh, but then it's, the other option would be Phantom to evolve into Trevenant, and you can obtain Phantoms pretty easily. You could find them here through Dexnav, which is great because it'll actually show you if it has its hidden ability. You can also find it in Friend Safari in X and Y, which is quite useful because there's a decent chance for hidden ability there. And then last but not least, you can hoard for Trevenant, of course, on Route 20. So we're going to be here in Petalburg Woods because I do think this is the easiest way. We're going to search for Phantom. And what we're going to do is we're going to try the Dexnav method here to find a Phantom, but I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to find one. But the objective here is going to be able to find a Phantom that has its hidden ability. It might take you a little while. You might have to do a short little chain or something like that. This is probably not a Phantom. It's definitely not a Phantom, but you guys get the general idea. I won't actually show you how to do it. You guys probably could figure it out, right? You just do the Dexnav method, find a Phantom. You got to catch one with its hidden ability harvest, and then you're off to the battle resort. Uh, you're off to basically the last island in the game, which I will fly there right now. We're going to hop on to our our uh, Talon Flame. It's been so long since I played Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, guys. It's like ridiculous. But uh, so we're going to be headed to the battle resort. Now, on the battle resort, that is where this comes in clutch. And that's why you actually have to go back to the older games because the move Skill Swap. And in the case of Trevenant and Phantom, the move Trick are both move tutor moves. So the only way to get them is to come right over here on the battle resort and talk to these lovely people here and trade them your battle points for the move. So we'll talk to this guy here. This is the one that you're going to get skill swap from. Skill swap is only eight battle points, so it doesn't cost a ton. And Trick is eight more. So remember, if you get a Trevenant, you're going to need to grab Trick from here for eight battle points and skill swap for eight battle points. If you grab an Execute, you only need skill swap. You don't need trick because at level 50 it learns a move called bestow and like i said bestow works as well i believe it learns trick too if you'd rather teach a trick i'm pretty sure ex executor will learn trick i'll double check it right now just to confirm but I, I would imagine it does i'm not a million percent sure maybe it doesn't i guess it doesn't so you might have to stick with bestow either way um, but nevertheless both pokemon have an efficient effective way to do this and it allows you to permanently SOS shiny hunt for whatever Pokemon you're going for and definitely will save you a lot of energy a lot of time a lot of effort and just a lot of uh, I don't know anxiety worrying about whether you're gonna faint the right Pokemon or what's gonna happen there so that is that video guys very simple if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comment section below this is one of those topics that I've been wanting to cover for a while and I've been in a little bit of a rut but we got it all taken care of here and uh, people will ask me on stream every time what is this executor for how does the Bagon that you're chaining right now have harvest all that stuff this is your answer right here guys so hopefully Hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully this gives you all the things you need to know. Hit that like button if it does. Subscribe for more Pokemon content and, and even more. And that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Dan. I also go by Adrob, and I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.